morning students hope you all are fine safe and healthy at your home and studying nicely at your home in the previous video we studied how to measure time and different units of time in class 6 already you have learned how to measure distance so now children you can calculate the speed of an object Let us find the speed of a ball moving along the ground. So, children, now get ready for activity thirteen point three given in your NCERT book. For this, you have to roll a ball gently along the ground in a direction perpendicular to the line. Now, children, you have to note the time at the moment the ball crosses the line, and also when it comes to Rest. Now, children, you have to note down the time when the ball crosses the line and also when the ball comes to rest. And with the help of these two readings, you have to calculate the time taken by the ball to come to rest. So, it will be time taken by the ball to come to rest will be the difference of the above two. readings okay now children you have to measure the distance between the point at which the ball crosses the line and the point where it comes to rest for this you can use a scale or a measuring tape table you can see uh, in this chapter you have done lot of activities so i hope you can do it nicely for this also you can take two or three readings distance you have to measure in meter and time already you know it is to be measured in seconds and uh, using this distance and time in second uh, sorry distance in meter and time in second you can calculate speed hope all of you do cycling yes so children are you interested to find your cycling speed for this you can fix two points such that the distance between those two points are known and this can be done with the help of your parents after that you can measure the time taken to cover that distance and you can calculate your cycling speed do you know children rockets launching satellites into earth's orbit often attain speed up to 8 km per second on the other hand a tortoise can cover only with a speed of about 8 cm per second your home assignment is to find out walking speed and cycling speed in meter per second but for this you have to take permission of your parents and third is to convert the speed which you calculate in number 1 and 2 in kilometer per hour and the cycling speed is to be calculated only by the students who know how to do cycling hope you will enjoy these activities how to find speed of a moving ball and how to find out the walking or cycling speed at the same time you go through the ncert book also don't focus yourself only on the videos sent by teachers thank you children